Hello guys, my name is Nastya. Today I decided to brew a homemade Belgian triple beer. If you like strong beer, you should definitely brew it. Triple like Dubel and Quadruple are the terms used by Abbey and Trappist breweries to name their strong beers. The triple style was developed in 1930 at the Belgian Westmile Abbey. The brewery launched its first triple, called Super Beer, in 1934. The beer recipe changed in 1956 when the brewer Thomas decided to add more hops. Since then, the drink has been called triple, which means triple ale, or to make it easier for understanding, it is an ale that is made of three times more grain than a regular Belgian ale. Triple beer is similar to a very strong blonde, but with a deeper color and richer aroma. The taste of this beer contains flavors of citrus, malt and spices. Compared to blonde, this beer has much stronger warming afterglow. The color of the drink ranges from yellow to golden. When pouring beer into a glass, a cream-colored head should form. Besides that, the aftertaste should be with a moderate bitterness. I have already brewed beer using this recipe, and I even have a couple of bottles left. Today I will uncork one of them and show you how it looks and also tell you my thoughts about this beer. Just imagine, last week I went to my beer warehouse for beer and there was practically nothing left, except the beer from the last two brews. I feel to keep it for aging, therefore I have to brew more beer urgently. Previously there were always more than 100 bottles on my beer stock. I used to count there with my friends and to choose what to drink from variety of style. I have beer shortage now because I used to brew beer more often and ferment it uh, not only in the conical fermenter as it is now, but also in plastic buckets. Uh, my brews went like this previously. From Monday to Friday I created a recipe, searched for ingredients and ordered them. When my husband came home from the office on Friday evening, each of us cracked a bottle. I cooked garlic crunches or chicken wings and this way we brewed beer while drinking beer. When I started blogging and sharing recipes, I started to brew more complex and interesting beer, which I just don't want to spoil fermenting in plastic buckets. And now brewing takes a whole day and also video editing takes extra couple days. So, please support me for my efforts and like this video. I brewed this triple on 4th of June last year, so it turns out that this beer has been aged for 8 months already in bottles. It was my first such strong beer with original gravity of 20.5%. By the way, in my book of recipes, where I always writing down every step, there is no data on what is final gravity and ABV. So I will check it out with you. Pak, stop bothering me! Stop it! The fluffy foam has creamy color. The L itself is amber, beautiful, transparent, has good bubbles. It smells insanely fragrant. Oh, I accidentally sucked in the foam with my nose. Mm, 
its aroma is citrusy, spicy, flavors of mold, oranges and spices, flowers. Floral and fruity aromas are well felt. I feel slightly alcohol in the aroma. The aroma also is sweet and spicy. I like it very much for its aroma and taste. I will try it now, just a little bit, because I still have to brew beer today. This beer is very dense, full and well balanced. Its taste is sweetish at first and spicy, and then it turns into a moderate bitterness in the aftertaste. This bitterness is very well balanced. That is, it is not too bitter, not too sweet, not too spicy, very well warming and insanely fragrant. I really like this beer, but unfortunately it is too strong for me. I can only drink one glass of it and I am wasted. Let's check out the ABV now, because to be honest, I haven't done it yet. By the way, high ABV is not noticeable in the taste. That's why it is such a dangerous beer, because it is very aromatic, tasty, I like it very much, but you can easily get drunk with it. The refractometer shows 8.5 and it turns out that alcohol is around 9.9%. This beer is strong enough, but to be honest I felt that it has more ABV. For those who love strong beer, this triple should definitely be liked, but I'm going to brew a lighter version of this beer today. I will share with you a recipe of exactly what is in my glass now. If you ask for, I will share my recipe of lighter version of triple later. One sip and let's get it started. For this brewing we need only three types of malt, Pilsner, Munich and Melanadium, as well as two types of hops, East Kent Golding and Tetnange. I will also use ground coriander and white Belgian sugar or dextrose. In this brewing we will have three temperature steps. First temperature step at 62 Celsius for 60 minutes. Second at 70 Celsius 30 minutes. And third is mash out at 78 Celsius for 5 minutes and then we will have boiling for 90 minutes. Many people ask me, how do I grind? This is how my standard grind looks like. If the grain looks like undamaged by when you press on it and it falls apart into two halves, this is it. When it swells from water, it will break for sure. Here you can see how it breaks from pressure. I always have good filtration. By the way, last time I have noted a lot of protein in this beer. This is because there is a lot of mold used in this brew. 
You need to use either mouse or Virflow tablets or to let the wort settle for one hour after cooling. I will wait for one hour as always. Look, half an hour has passed and the filtration is excellent. As I always said, it is very important how you grind. Are you pouring water from the kettle? Do you have boiled water in it? No, this is a special kettle where you can adjust the temperature and I made it 78 Celsius. There is an opinion that it is not necessary to remove the foam, but I always remove the first foam before it boils. Just look at how much protein is in a brewery. To ferment this beer, I will use this mangrove jacks Belgian Triple M31 Easts. By the way, the last time I used them to ferment triple, before first two months of carbonation the beer was not carbonated at all. I even thought that is that, because it has a 10% tolerance to alcohol. I thought that beer is so strong and it killed all Easts. I don't remember exactly because it was 8 months ago. After around 2 months it became normal. Bubbles appeared there and as you saw, good foam and even makes a good puff. By the way, I really like this ease of this particular producer because it seems to me that they give correct aromas and for this triple beer I will always use them. I really like them. In general, I usually use mangrove jacks yeast or lelemand and very rarely I use fermentis. I will ferment this beer at a temperature of 18 to 20 degrees for 14 days on primary fermentation and 14 days on secondary fermentation. I use this big spoon of dextrose from the kit. It says 0.75 for such a big bottle of 0.75 liters, about 4 grams in a bottle. This time I will look at final gravity first, before adding dextrose. Because this time I decided to renew my beer stocks and uh, my conical fermenter is busy with beer which I brewed last week. I will ferment this triple in plastic bucket. After you bottle the beer, keep it for at least two months and then you can start tasting it. But the longer you hold the triple, the taster more aromatic and full bodied it will be and the body will be more rounded and interesting. So this beer is one of my favorites. I think that is very successful. It is fragrant, tasty, awesome, but it's too strong for me, while my husband likes it very much. Well, 
that's all. The beer will now transfer it into the fermenter and I will run to pour in this yeast in a dry way directly onto the foam. Thanks for watching. I wish you delicious beer and good brews. Bye bye.